Folks, Bobo here. Welcome back to Threes In. So the other day, it's, uh, I'm driving on one of my errands. I had to be going somewhere because I was driving. At any rate, uh, began thinking a little bit about Uncle Marty. Now, Marty is a uh, young fellow that came to work for me in 1975 uh, in O-Flight, Advanced Air Force Base. And Marty was one of these self-motivated kids. Uh, I call him a kid. He's he's in his 70s like I am now. But anyway, uh, just a joy to have around. Just a lot of fun. Uh, conscientious, uh, self-starter, good pilot, great pilot, great instructor. And uh, like I said, we just had a lot of fun together. When I took over the flight, O-Flight, uh, I made Marty my gradebook officer. Now in the the uh, one of the comments here recently, uh, a fellow mentioned something about devi gradebook deviation. Oh my God, those things were lethal. You had too many uh, gradebook uh, deviations uh, that could cost you your job, and we knew it. So uh, we didn't put bombs on target. We didn't hit hit uh, tanker routes. We didn't drop cargo here, there, or anywhere. Uh, but man, we had grade sheets and we had uh, deviations that we had to really be uh, cognizant of. And I suppose in retrospect, it, it made sense. Uh, keeping the continuity was, was important. Uh, and I do not make light of that. Uh, I understand what continuity is when you're teaching kids how to fly. Okay, that being said, I made Marty my grade, uh, grade book officer. And after, uh, in those days, um, we use bubble sheets to um, for the grade sheets. And so every student was responsible for checking his grade sheet. The instructor was responsible for checking um, the grade sheet. And then Marty, as the grade book officer, was the last check in the uh, chain of events here. So we would be sitting around after flying and Marty would have a stack of grade sheets going through, just going over them, um, checking for continuity items. And every now and then, he would find an error. Now, Marty had a way about him. He could be a little bit of a smart ass, which, which I loved about him. Very endearing. So he would be over there, and we would break out the beer because we were done flying. We'd close the flight room doors, the doors of the flight room. And so we'd be sitting there having a beer and just kind of hanging out. And Marty would be sitting there going over these great shoes here. here. Error! We'd all kind of cringe and look over at him. And he would say, Holliker, error. That means um, he discovered an error on one of my grade sheets. Oh, crap. So we'd go over there and we had, I don't know if we had a, a kitty we put a quarter in or something for a beer fund or something like that. I don't remember. But it got to a point, he'd say, Onk, error. Cam, error, error, error. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, that's another thing, too. At that particular time, I'd say 90% of the IPs in our flight, their last name ended with ER. We had um, uh, Dyer, Jack Dyer, Marty Miller, Holliker, Kirschner. Uh, then we had uh, Hector Al Alvarez, but that was okay with Hector. Close enough. And then Mike Unk. Onk error, we just added an error on it. And then we had uh, Jeff Kammerer, he had a couple errors in his name, so he could afford to give one to somebody else, I suppose, is the way the system worked. But anyway, there were a couple guys that came into my office and said, you know, you gotta tell Marty to knock that crap off, it's hurt my feelings. <laughs> I said, well then fill out the grade sheets right, he should be good. Oh God, he could get under the skin just by error. <laughs> And um, sometimes I'll call him up today and say, hey, Marty, err? I, uh, you'll hear me in these threads refer to him on occasion as Uncle, Uncle Marty. Uh, I don't know, somewhere along my path in life, I picked up the fact that in the Chinese culture, it is an honor to be called uh, Uncle, um, rev uh, revered Uncle, and... Uh, I suppose when we were advanced at some point, 
his kids were coming up and our kids were coming up and I did not want them calling him uh, Marty. Uh, I never bought into a kid calling an adult by their first name. But I said, you can call him uh, Uncle Marty. How's that work? And the kids picked up on it and I just carried it on to a, a further adulthood. At any rate, uh, like I said, I was driving along and I, that error still resonated in the back of my mind. Well, that being said, that's enough of that and that's enough errors for the day. So, hope you go through the day today. Have a great day without any errors. This is Bobo Base Gear. Stop.